Hi everyone. I expect you to remember all of your formulas from plane and solid geometry. So that would include in plane geometry, things like area and perimeter for things like squares, rectangles, parallelograms in general, triangles, trapezoids. Uh, the area of a trapezoid is the average of the bases times the height. <laughs> Did you remember that? Circles, the area of a circle is pi r squared. The circumference of the circle, the distance around, is 2 pi r. Three-dimensional solid geometry. Know the formulas for the volume and surface area of a rectangular box. Write circular cylinders. Right means that it's not tilted. Uh, circular means you have circular cross sections. All right. Uh, with base radius r and height h. Know the volume, which is like capacity. Lateral surface area. Imagine a soup can. The lateral surface area is like the uh, area of the soup label on the soup can. The total, the total surface area consists of the lateral surface area plus the area of the top lid and the bottom lid, the circles there. That's why you have the plus 2 pi r squared. For a right circular cone, know that the volume of this cone is one third of the cylinder that it fits snugly in, the circumscribing cylinder, and you can prove that using calculus. However, I will not expect you to know the surface area formulas for this kind of cone. Spheres, you got to memorize these. The volume of a sphere, capacity, four thirds pi r cubed. Surface area, Okay, imagine that you're wrapping up the bowling ball, all right, four pi r squared. Now, one way to not confuse these formulas, think in terms of meters. Uh, like, for example, let's say the radius is measured in meters, right? Then r squared would be measured in square meters, which is a natural measure for surface area. The four pi is just a constant. r cubed would be in cubic meters. Again, the four-thirds pi is just a constant multiplier. So these exponents here, as a check, you can check your exponents to see if your formula makes sense for surface area or volume. Uh, take a look at the volume of the cylinder here. Pi is a constant. R squared is in square meters. H is in meters. Together, you have cubic meters. And that would be reasonable for the volume of a cylinder. Some people call that dimensional analysis to make sure you have the right exponents. On exams, people would often mess up their exponents. Or they would put down something that would end up being four-dimensional. That would make no sense. <laughs> uh, for the surface area of a box, okay, imagine a room, a pretty boring cubicle, right? It's the total area of the walls, the ceiling, and the floor. Six sides, six areas, add them up for the total surface area for the rectangular box. For a cylinder, like, like the uh, lateral surface area for a cylinder, imagine this. Imagine a soup can with a label around it. Imagine slitting the label perpendicularly to the base. Spread out the label and you get a rectangle. The distance around that circle, that circumference, becomes the base of the rectangle, 2 pi r. The height is still h. The area of the rectangle is 2 pi r h, and that is the lateral surface area for the cylinder. To get the total surface area, add 2 pi r squared for the two circular disks. The volume of the cone is one third of this guy, the circumscribing cylinder. Know these formulas except for these service area ones for cone. Don't worry about those, but know all the others. They're totally fair in pre-calc and calculus.